Hi, I'm Barbara. Welcome to Mess TS. Today I want to talk about kids' art tables. I was super lucky and found this table that had previously obviously been in some kind of a school or a daycare center because it has a formica top in a fun teal color that I'm very happy with. But it's a little sad around the edges, the legs are beat up. But you don't need to find the perfect item in order to make this. Take a garage sale table and cut it down. This is 23 inches high. As long as you have something around two feet, that's gonna be a good height for your child's art table. So cut something down, look for coffee tables, and then just put little stools, whatever, around it that looks cute and charming. You can use this color scheme, other color schemes. What I am gonna do is take this teal color as one of my basics. Now, because it's not a primary color, I've skewed all my colors off the primary colors to make them a little bit more fun. So the teal is gonna be like my blue. And luckily, I mean, you can't find a better match than that in a spray can. So I'm gonna do that around the edges. And then I'm gonna go slightly off to the orange, to a slightly rustier orange, and that's gonna be on the legs and on our center art caddy, which I'll show you in a minute. And finally, our green is gonna be a really vibrant lime green. That's just gonna be an accent color. And we are going to be able to do this table an art caddy, and some stools. I found these are called the Marius stools from Ikea for $5.99. So two spools, stools, the table, and the art caddy for under $52. For the art caddy, I am using a wooden turntable from the kitchen department at Ikea, $14.99. Now I could have cut holes into this and put things in there. But then when you take them away from your kids to put them somewhere safe so they don't get them all over your house while they're unsupervised, you have giant holes in your table. So I would rather have baskets and different things that I can set in the middle of the table for different types of projects. So this one is to hold art supplies. This is $14.99 at Ikea. I'm gonna paint this the red to match the legs. And then in Ikea's garden center, I found these metal pails. Some of them were powder coated, they cost a tiny bit more, and some of them were galvanized. Highly, highly recommend you get the powder coated. They take the paint much better. I have been struggling with these galvanized. So I've learned I have to really fully prime them and they'll be okay, but for the 30 cents more, they could have come where I could have already painted them. So the big one's gonna go in the middle and it's gonna be painted red to match the turntable. And then I got seven little buckets around and we're, they're gonna be black on the inside because you have to tie, if you're adding something like a black stool and that's nowhere on your table, you wanna tie it in somewhere. Everything always has to relate to something else. So our black is gonna be in the middle and the top of these cans, just a chalkboard paint black. And then the bottom is gonna be the bright green accent color. And onto that, we are gonna put these chalkboard stickers. I thought about taping it off and making a label, but I get 12 stickers for $2.99 at Michael's, and my time is not worthless. So I am using those stickers to put around so that you can label them. With really little kids, I highly recommend that you just let them doodle on the labels or you draw pictures, it, you know, they're just for fun. But as they get older, you know, writing pens, it actually helps them to read, to see the word right in front of the item. I think this is gonna be a really fun project. I'm gonna get painting and when we install it, I have an extra surprise. This one's actually a twofer. You're gonna be able to see a fun art wall installation so that's also under $52 the edges and that's off drying. Then I decided to add a little bit more of a decorative element to the leg. Still keeping with my three colors, remember we have just the off primary colors, and I thought this green is really only here and in our surprise wall element, so I thought I might add some stripes of green to the red for the legs of the table. It adds sort of a little bit almost of that Dr. 
your Seuss stripey fun look to the legs of the table and I thought that would be a nice addition. So the way I'm adding that is I've painted the yellow first because red is a notoriously hard cover, color to cover with. I primed these really well and then I did the light color and I'm going to go over it with the red. It's going to require three or four coats of red to cover it well. I may even have to prime the yellow first in order to make it turn out evenly. I'll let you know what happens. I start with measuring with just the width of the tape. I started at the bottom, put a little piece there, wrapped it once. Then I moved my little piece up and I'm going to wrap the leg again. That way I know that all my stripes on all four legs are going to be even because if they're in random places, you're going to think you're looking at the table and it's crooked. So I'm going to keep doing that all the way up each leg and then paint the red over them. I'll let you know if a primer is needed, but I think I'll probably be okay because this is a nice light color and I got a nice smooth coat. When you've painted one color and you're taping over it, Make sure and get the delicate 3M painter's tape. It's a light adhesive and it won't pull off your new tape or damage it. So, while that's happening, still working on the carousel for the center of the table. I've got the insides of all my pails painted black. I've painted the turntable and the center one red. And then the ones around the edges have the black tops with the green bottoms. I taped them off. This went at the bottom first, painted the black, and then went over the black with my tape and painted the green. Now what I love about using black is my cheater way of touching up. Somehow I've lost my Sharpie, but I can just go around with a Sharpie and touch up these edges so that they're really crisp and clean. Love that. So once that's all nice, I just take my blackboard, chalkboard rather, labels, center them top to bottom between, there's actually, it's hard for you to see maybe off camera, but there are some ridges here and so I'm centering it in the flat part at the bottom. This is a great thing for young readers to write, you know, crayons or whatever, it just helps them to learn the words for things. Now, children, turntables, tops, oh, might need to fix that. So what we're going to do is you could use a drill and just drill through the whole thing in place, but I'm a cheater. This is my cheater way of doing it. Take a hammer, cut a hole in the bottom with a nail that's big enough for a small screw, and then I'm going to go around and mark through that with a pencil, put a small drill hole into that, and screw right through the middle of that into the turntable through every single one of these pots. You want to make sure that you position them so the labels are the same angle out all the way around, and then it'll be nice and secure and easy to turn. So I'm going to get that done before we install. And now for our two for our secret element, is I decided to use the heating pads from the kitchen department at Ikea. I was using them for another project and I thought, Instead of making an entirely covered wall, which I have done with the acoustic boards from Ikea, and we will be doing coming up on some message boards, I like the idea of just being able to pin a picture. You really only need a tiny spot for a pin. And polka dots are so fun. With our striped legs and our polka dot walls, we're going to have a very Dr. Seuss looking area. The secret, though, to getting these to be nice and bright is the cork will absorb paint. So these have been primed with a spray primer and covered with the paint. These, this one on the left, I covered with Mod Podge first. I just dipped a foam brush in and slapped it on and went all the way around the outside. And it doesn't absorb. But it also doesn't make it so that you can't stick a pin through it. So those are all our elements. I'm going to finish painting my legs. I'm going to screw these down. And then you're going to see a really fun art space for your kids. Thank you. 